Her admirers say she's as much artist as architect. Martha Teichner is talking with Jeannie Gang. A ribbon cutting. Cut! Music. And then instant awe when the American Museum of Natural History in New York City opened the doors last month to its new 230,000 square foot, nearly half billion dollar expansion. We're absolutely stunned, it's so beautiful. No more right angles. <laughs> the standard reaction? Stop, look up, and start taking pictures of this extraordinary space that seems eroded from rock by wind and water over millennia, not just built. I don't know what it is exactly, but it seems very cool. <laughs> Architect Jeannie Gang designed it. It's like being underneath a tree or a mushroom. In January, as construction was finishing up, Gang took us on a hard hat tour. Before the concrete was here, it was cages of rebar. And then the concrete is sprayed into those, yeah. But where did these shapes even come from? We studied literally flow, like melting ice and other interactions to get the patterns that you can find in nature. We can kind of play with it. Here she is on the roof of her Chicago office. And Look at this. Look at the variety of, oh, yeah. so it started to give us ideas that are more accidental and kind of natural and incredible. Huh. Jeannie Gang's curvy 82-story Aqua Tower in Chicago was the tallest building in the world designed by a woman, until another of her buildings, the 101-story St. Regis Tower down the block took the title, meaning Gang had broken into the boys' club of architectural titans whose skyscrapers defined the city's storied skyline. She is arguably the most important woman architect anywhere, but the designation makes her cringe. I see it as it's a necessary conversation, but it also reduces the amount of time that women architects get to talk about how do you think about the city of the future? How do you think about materials? We can take the roof off. The Raised in Belvedere, Illinois, near the Wisconsin border, at 59, Jeannie Gang heads her own firm, Studio Gang, headquartered in Chicago. Innovating, pushing the boundaries of the good that architecture can do, is what Studio Gang is all about. How can we learn to live lighter on the planet, have better relationships with those around us, create stronger communities. It's animal architecture. Nature and the environment are central to every aspect of Jeannie Gang's work. It's not just the romantic idea of nature, but the structures, the intelligence that is in the response to climate, the beauty that is there as well, and the pattern that always is for a reason. Among Jeannie Gang's many accolades, a so-called MacArthur Genius Grant. In 2019, she was named to Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People list. And she's a professor at Harvard's Graduate School of Design. It's like a treehouse. Yeah, it gives you that experience, being up in the canopy. She's got bragging rights. So you'd think she'd want to show off her statement skyscrapers. No. The aim of this was to be the most intimate theater around. Instead, she took us to the tiny Writer's Theater in the Chicago suburb of Glencoe. Glencoe didn't have a civic space, and we thought that this lobby could double as that. But how to turn a desolate stretch of the Chicago River into a civic space? I was told that you could smell the river with the industrial smell, chemicals, and waste. Yeah. The boathouse gang designed for the Chicago Parks Department made it a destination. I just feel kind of proud because I know that this boathouse was essential for a transformation of along the whole river. It's pretty exciting. So is the new $2.2 billion terminal at Chicago's O'Hare Airport she's working on. Its interior constructed from wood staves. 
and a complete makeover of the waterfront in Memphis. Is this fun? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's just finished a major rethink and expansion of the Arkansas Museum of Fine Arts in Little Rock. This is a kind of stem through the building or a blossom blossoming out into the park. Again, Jeannie Gang with an architectural flourish, demonstrating how a changed space can result in a changed experience, something new, just as she did just in Chicago's Lincoln city. Park. We put together a team to redo the whole environment so that it could support nature. Deeper pond, new boardwalk, different plantings, and this. Yes, it was inspired by a milkweed pond. It has a magical effect. It's how it makes us feel around the natural environment and the city. It's all those things together. When it was built in 2010, the pavilion was supposed to be temporary. Now it's an icon and the expression of everything Jeannie Gang hopes architecture can achieve. You could do a beautiful sculptural building if it doesn't help people connect to each other or connect to their community, then it's not going to work. The beauty is in making it inspiring so people want to come back. 